hello 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 welcome back to my channel venulicious tea it, i'm so happy for you guys to be here with me today and i have another great meal idea i know that you guys have never ever ever seen me bake anything before so today guess what i'm going out of my comfort zone and i'll be baking something up for you guys but before we jump right into the video i just want to say that thank you so much I know that I haven't been back for long, but thank you so much for all the support and all everybody that's been watching my videos. Thank you so much. And I just want to say another thing. Jesus loves you people. No matter where you're at or no matter where you think that you are in life, uh, if you're down, if you're up, if you're wherever you are, Jesus can meet you wherever you are and Jesus loves you. And saying this and saying that, let's jump right into the video. and. If you can't bake or if you have never baked like me before this is a baker friendly video uh, where everything just goes into one you mix everything up and you pour it into the oven and pray that it comes out good <laughs> this is one of those videos because you know this is out of my comfort zone so let's bake up a storm today or let's spoil something together <laughs> so yeah let's start spoiling let's see what we need for our ingredients today so stay tuned and don't go away B to the E to the N to the R to the L to the R to the C to the R to the O so today you'll be needing needing some baking powder uh, two cups of coconut milk see my coconut milk is all seized up so I just leave it in the cup for it to just set like that you need some butter half cup of butter all melted melted um, two cups of flour here I have some coconut sugar so we need half cup of that and some threaded coconut people I did not go um, into the process of squeezing it or threading it myself. I have some baileys there for flavor and there I have some Nutmeg right here cinnamon and my vanilla rose water and some artificial Other flavor and I have some ginger as well But if you don't have all those spices, you could just use all spice if that works for you and here my bowl is ready and my pan over there so I will not be using the regular pan but I'll be using a bread pan today because people I don't have the other one so don't kill me so that's all that we need right now so as we know the baking rule we're gonna start with the dry ingredients first people remember beginners friendly Vanessa not don't know how to bake so I'm just trying this out <laughs> so let's start with our flour so two cups of flour throw that in our sugar coconut sugar for me i don't like things too sweet and let's do our cinnamon remember if you don't have all these spices you can always use mixed spice so we'll be using the one teaspoon so one teaspoon Okay, this is half, so let's use two. So, so half and another half. That makes one teaspoon of cinnamon. And nutmeg, same procedure. So let's use half nutmeg. Nutmeg is kind of overpowering, so we don't need lots of that. And some ginger, if you don't have the powder, if you have the liquid, go right ahead. So I'm using half teaspoon of ginger. People can see that I don't do this very often. Forgive me. <laughs> my nutmeg, <laughs> not nutmeg. This is my baking powder. So for our baking powder, it says two tablespoons. So this is one. So two of this of baking powder. And we're not using egg in our ingredients today. So, and we're gonna mix this up. Let's make sure this is all mixed very well together. So not bad so far, this is the easier part. <laughs> so mixing everything together. 
and I'll be adding a uh, tips of salt just a pinch of salt just to bring up everything so not too much and this is where I am gonna add my threaded coconut so add our threaded coconut to that as well and we're gonna mix it in and if you don't want to use coconut milk you can use water instead now I think it's time to start adding our wet ingredients I'm excited this this recipe is very old like our forefathers our foremothers <laughs> they would do this recipe so now I will be adding our vanilla I'm using one tablespoon because my vanilla is not that strong let's use one and a half then our rose water I'll be using one okay this is one tablespoon rose water there we go well my oh crap the almond water is the stronger one I should have used <laughs> this is almond so one tablespoon I'll be using two because it's not as strong my rose water is the strong one okay and let's mix this in all right it doesn't look so good because now it's all lump everywhere okay now I should have mixed it in with the coconut cream my coconut um, my coconut cream is very thick I think we have to use some water here along the way so let's mix this in I think I made a mistake people I shouldn't have added the vanilla and all those liquid things in the thing by itself I should have mixed it in with the coconut cream Never mind. We live and we learn, right? So let's keep going. Okay, so as I said, let's keep going. I added some, I will be adding some coconut. I like I wash my coconut thing out. And I will be adding, see, I just wash my cup out with a little water. And I'll just pour that in. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this up. Honestly, as I said, I don't know what the consistency <laughs> should look like. First time bakers. Okay, we're gonna use a tablespoon for our rum cream and we'll be adding that in. So I'll be using one tablespoon, two tablespoon of rum cream. Cause I don't have the Jamaican rum and that will help to preserve our cake so I'll be using that and the uh, half cup of melted butter right in there just like that let's keep mixing and this looks good my oven is already on 350 and we'll be baking for 45 minutes to an hour or until our thing our toothpick or our knife comes out dry but the Jamaican coconut cake or total is not that kind of total where it will be like all dry it kind of have some moisture in it okay this texture looks really good this reminds me of when my mom used to make potato pudding or cornmeal pudding so this consistency very good I like it so people this is what it looks like not bad so this is very easy economical or very cheap so I like this I'm gonna try the mixture and see where we're at really good flavor coming through I like it it's not too sweet all right so as I said I'll be using my bread pan i don't have those big broad ones so this is what i have so i will be adding my avocado oil to the bottom so that my cake or my total don't stick to the bottom 
have you ever seen any I think the only thing I've ever baked that is this easy to bake and that is cookies so mix that all around and there we go so now we're gonna pour our batter in all right I hope my batter is not too much for my <laughs> my pan so we're just gonna pour that in I think you want to pour it even all over and I use my spatula to scrape this yeah. not bad I'm glad it's not too much so beginners friendly people so now this is where we pray <laughs> for it to come out nice tasting nice hoping that everything is balanced and everything because we know that we're beginner beginners I know that I'm a beginner I know that I can't bake so I just have to keep my fingers crossed even if it doesn't come out good I have to eat it because it's mine right so we make sure we get everything out the bowl and we're just gonna flatten this and there it is clean up the sides and everything make sure that everything is off our spatula and just scrape it in there so people this is what it looks like after the oven it's been in there like for an hour so it's all cracked in the middle so that tells you and I like the texture so I'm just gonna leave that let it cool and then I'm gonna plate this and try to as you see this piece missing <laughs> I have already tried it to see what it tastes like but stay tuned I'm gonna try this and let you guys see and let you guys see the texture and everything so stay tuned don't go away now I want to show you guys how, how easy this comes out all I did was just shake my pan and I just did this and look my potato pudding is out of the pan and I'm gonna flip this over there it is as you see it's still hot but it is it cut so that's a good thing and I like how it looks look at my texture and everything it looks good so I'm gonna cut it and serve it up I must say this part is my fault <laughs> so I'm gonna I'll be using my bread knife and I'm just gonna cut here and look at that there you go still hot as I say this you can have this with ice cream or with anything that you like so I'm just gonna put this on my plate Throw this up on my plate. It's as I said, it's still warm, so it's still kind of falling apart, but the texture is good and everything looks okay. So we Jamaicans we love our total warm. I like mine warm as well. So it is still warm, so I'm just gonna try this. Like I said, I've tried it before and I like it. Especially the part that's um on the edge. That's my favorite part. So honestly, it is not as sweet. I don't like things too sweet and it is pretty good. The texture, pretty good. So as I said, it's my first time trying to do this on my own. So thumbs up to me. <laughs> At least I succeeded and I am glad I did. And the texture is not bad. Like I love how the texture is and how the edges came out brown and kind of crisp and i like it so if you try this let me know if you don't that's okay thumbs up and remember to like comment and subscribe to my channel not just watch people but subscribe come on and see whenever time i'm trying at something else in the kitchen so i'm happy all this turned out so until next time this is vanilla tea and i did jamaican toto today or jamaican coconut cake thank you so much for watching until next time thank you